it's ferocious. Okay, so we have a big electric motor, advanced DC motors, part number A00-0, uh, sorry, dash 4009, uh, 2300 RPM, 36 DC volt, 4.15 horsepower, continuous, a whole lot more than that at peak. It running here. I can almost stall it out without taking the skin off my thumb. Okay, so the motor is wired up like this. Uh, series 1 to, or S1 to A2. Um, and A2, uh, A2 goes to A2 on the controller. This is a Curtis controller. Curtis model 1209B. 1209B. Curtis DC controller. Uh, 72 volts. Running on less than 72 volts right now. Um, anyway, A2. Alright. Uh, S2 goes to S2 goes to M minus and A1 goes to B plus which goes to the circuit breaker and to the positive on the battery stack. Um, so that's the main wiring there. A2 to A2 A2 um, S2 to M minus, S1 to A2, A1 to plus. Um, no, we have two. We have three controller pins here. They're labeled one, two, and three. Number one on top here goes to battery plus. This simulates a key key switch that's turned on. So we just hot wired it here. And then we have two and three. Two and three. I'm running that with a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a variable resistor. So I just have two pins hooked up. Maybe there are there are only two pins. So yeah, at zero ohms the motor stops. There's the motor stopped, and then I'll turn it up to, I guess it goes to five, I'm not sure, anyway. It's ferocious.